Hi, Paul Hefty here with a triangle football system. I want to talk about our 911 mesh pass. We do a run and shoot style version. This is something I got from uh, Coach Scott Backer, who works with Chatfield Minnesota High School. What this involves is a hash read route um, that we'll go over. The neat thing is, is we can run this from two by two and three by one with only one receiver making an adjustment. We can also run it from six man protection where the back will check release into his route and also five man solo protection where the back can free release. I like to put this in after our four verts right away because again, it's great against man or zone, but today we're seeing a ton of man coverages and blitzes against um, RPO teams and systems like ours. So this is something you wanna put in early and then be able to work it and rep it so you can get good at it. Let's take a look. All right, here's the mesh pass out of a two by two set. Again, I like to install uh, plays first out of two by two, and then we can advance to the three by one. This is a Mets Ray. Our Lisa Ray call tells us we're gonna be in a six man protection. The back will do his check release here where he's gonna check the Mike and the Sam inside out for blitz. If they don't, then he can release into his wheel route. The mesh receivers are always going to be the A and the H. The H is the mesh over receiver going over top. He wants to go right over the Mike's toes right in front of him. The A is the mesh under receiver, then going right under the toes of that actual H back. So we get a nice rub here versus man. Once they've cleared each other, if it is zone, they can set down in open grass or open space. But if they've got any type of man, just keep running them. The Z receiver is going to run his glance route and is the free access receiver. The X is the run and shoot version here. He's going to run what we call a hash read route. It's very similar to the bender read that we use with the four verts, but we're going to add uh, a drag component to it. The X receiver will run this. What he's going to do is go at a 45 degree angle towards the hash. And on about the fifth step, he's got to make his decision based on the defense. If it is one high safety, then he'll go vertical right up the hash um, to that open seam. If there's too high, then just like the bender read, he'll just continue right to the middle on that 45 degree angle and fill that open grass in the middle. If it's man on that fifth step, then he's gonna go ahead and bend this flat and just run him across, uh, running a drag. The quarterback here, real simple is um, he's going to go ahead and pre-snap, see if he has free access to the Z receiver side. If he goes that way, feels he has free access, no safety help, he'll read him one, and then he'll look to the H um, receiver coming with the mesh over, and then to the X in the middle, going left to right in this case. If he doesn't have free access, though, the main read is going to be, again, reading that Mike Backer, that's the Mets cue, Again, if he gets blitz, then he's got his choice of going one, two, three of one with a hash read, two to the A, running the, the mesh under, and then three either to the wheel or the H, wherever his eyes take him to open grass. Again, what we want to do is create a situation where we feel we can always get the ball to the X because he's always going to be open if he makes the correct read, and then we can break down to the mesh unders and the wheel. Simple sound against man or zone. All right, next here then we're gonna to progress to our six man protection from a three by one set. What's great about the system here is all the receivers still run the same route rule. Quarterback uses the same read progression. Only one receiver has to make a concept adjustment and that is the H back because he's the only one that moves with a three by one formation call here. What he'll do is still run a mesh over, but he'll do it as a pivot. What he's gonna do, the H back you see, will run right to the toes of the mic again, but right as he gets over the ball, he's gonna do a reverse pivot and then get onto his drag route, drag over as he would from his two by two. You can see again now that A is still going to run the mesh underneath him, so we still get a nice rub. X still runs the hash read route, 
B is going to still check release, Mike and Sam check if they don't blitz to the wheel, and Z is the free access receiver running his uh, six-step plants route. Quarterback repercussion again, check and see if he has free access, can go to the Z receiver side and work one, two, three there. But the main read again is going to be looking at the mic, again reading the hash read route to the A and the mesh under, to the wheel or the H on the pivot. Simple, sound, and consistent. Next, we'll go to two by two, but we'll run it with our five-man protection. Um, this is great to get um, the back involved, especially if you feel you have a mismatch. Um, real simple here. Now, the back is gonna free release, so he's gonna be able to get out there pretty fast. Nothing changes for any of the other receivers for the read progression for the quarterback. He's still reading the mic, um, when we're looking to the hash read route, to the A on the mesh under, and now we could look heavy to the wheel with the back. Again, if he has free access, free snap, he can go ahead and go, think Z receiver to H under to hash read, reading that safety now as his key. Again, we go to three by one, only one person has to make a, an adjustment, and that's the H using his pivot mesh over. Again, going to the toes of the mic, reverse pivot, and then on his drag. Again, same reprogression for the quarterback. We're just free releasing the back using five-man pro. So he's gonna check for free access to the Z receiver side. No free access. We're gonna go ahead and read the mic all the way, looking hash read, A under, B wheel, H pivot to Z glance. Simple sound, consistent, Great against man or zone. Again, great play to put in right after your four verts. Again, one of the things you want to do with this, though, is if you're going to run mesh, you've got to work on it over and over and over. It looks simple on paper because the receivers, though, are moving through this. You've got to work it so that the timing is there and the confidence with the reads for the quarterback. Thanks.